today we're going to make um, a 5% suspension of our patient cells and we're first going to wash them three times. You can also do this with donor cells. You often need to make wash 5% suspensions and I'll show you that in a future video. So I've got a test tube labeled with the patient's name, PHN, a session number, and 5%. So I'm all ready to go according to the SOP and I have it filled about a third to one half full of saline. And I just squirted the saline into the test tube using my saline bottle. Okay, so the first thing to do is to check your specimen carefully to ensure that the proper specimen is sitting beside the proper tube. Remove the lid and using a TM your pipette. We're going to fill this bottom portion of the pipette with red cells. So these pipettes have a very, very narrow tip and we're just going to try to fill the bottom portion. So we're going to put the pipette down to the very bottom of the tube. Notice that I have the pipette bulb squeezed a little bit. I'm squeezing it into the tube. Release the squeeze a little bit to pull up some cells and that looks about perfect just the bottom portion of the pipette and rinse the pipette into your saline in your little tube. A few rinses and the pipette can be discarded. So I've got patient cells into my half filled tube of saline and in order to wash we like to wash with a full complement of saline so we'll fill it up close to the top I try to keep it not too close, about the width of my pinky from the top of the tube. If it's too full, when the sonifuge spins, we might end up wicking off some of that saline and cells. So that's ready to go. So into the serifuge. So I've just got the tube, my tube in the serifuge, and I've got just a blank saline tube on the other side to balance. And spins are 45 seconds for a wash. And I'm just going to morph, um, or jump ahead a little bit, time warp a little bit. So I've got one that's already been spun down, and you can see the cells down here at the bottom, and then some dirty saline up here at the top. In your SOP, it says for this first wash that you can use a pipette to pull the saline out and discard it. That will be done once and only once, and then we'll move on to dumping because it's much more efficient. So I'm not going to demonstrate that. I'm sure you can all pipette out of the test tube, but I will show you the dumping part, okay? So using your biohazard bucket that has some um, disinfectant at the bottom, we're just going to gently pour. This is what's called a soft dump. So as soon as I saw that I dumped out the saline and I was coming close to the cells falling out, I stopped. So I'm going to give that a shake because I need to do two more washes and I want to ensure that all the cells are washed. So I'm forcefully adding the saline and it will go with the, um, for its second wash. So again, into the serifuge. There's a balance on the other side. 45 seconds. And time warping ahead, I've got my cells that have been spun down. And I'm going to um, dump the saline. So it's just a nice soft dump and I stop when I feel the cells might start to come out. Shake it up. And forcefully add the saline. that one more time. So there's my tube where the cells have been spun down. And just a nice gentle dump. Always remember to shake up those cells. They will not wash properly if they're not well suspended. So let's pretend that we've washed these particular cells at least three times and now we're going to make them up to 5%. So currently they look stronger than 5% to me 
you will have a um, comparison tube to compare to for the first day. But um, for, for now, I'll just show you how to kind of eyeball it. So we're going to add some saline. And when it looks like 5%, we're going to be happy with it. You can compare your 5% to some known 5% cells. So a lot of the cells that are in your reagent rack are also 5%. So if you'd like to, you can take a look at those and compare them with your patient's 5%.